Okay, g'day and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Uh, this is the one of the of the first two of um, the matches in the Whites and Greys series organised by Millenwise uh, between Rivian Adventurer and Fergus 1080 up here on the top and Twyblade and Deadeye195 down here in the bottom. Sound is a problem for Twyblade, that's but the replay says he kept going, so we're going to keep going as well. So Twyblade in Cybran, Deadeye, I'm using Aeon, Fergus using Cybran, and Rivian using UEF. Rivian usually goes random. I don't know about the other guys on this map, whether they're uh, just choosing their standard factions or whatever. A um, bit of a misplan on the um, build orders there for Tyblade to um, not arrange it so he's in build range of that mix. And we've got an idle engineer there as well. Um, get them doing stuff. If nothing else, give them a reclaim order. Um, you're going to need plenty of uh, power on this map as well. Um, because of the uh, absence of um, hydros. Uh, there's a hydro down in the back for the air player that doesn't exist in a 2v2 game. We've got some scouts already out and this one's probably going to try to, s to make sure that no one steals the um, mass there for reclaim. Uh, let's see if this engineer is going to do anything about that. We've got commanders moving out of the base for Fergus and Rivian. Uh, still in the base for Deadeye and Twyblade here. Uh, we've got a good collection of engineers out but and there's plenty of reclaim on these corners. Just look at it there. Just leave that engineer there uh, reclaiming away. Um, especially if you don't detect any lab coming around behind your front lines. Uh, it's always a good plan. We've got a bit of a move here. We've got two Mantis uh, inbound. Um, what's Rivian seeing here? He can see those units. He knows it's, they're probably going to be um, engineers and We've got a radar. It's a good uh, good choice of having a radar first, but it really doesn't help those uh, those engineers, does it? Uh, unfortunately, they're going to be gone pretty much instantly, and so is the power generator. Meanwhile, Riv uh, Fergus is coming down to snag that mass, and Rivian is moving forward here. If he's got some, he's got a radar here, so he can probably see that there's nothing in range there. And uh, I would definitely recommend moving up and taking that reclaim if you can possibly get it. Um, got a neat sharing of uh, mass extractors there and power generators going down all day and to hell with the adjacency. Um, meanwhile one factory here, um, yeah, we've got a bit of a, a, um, a good looking um, patrol order for reclaim there but it's just going to take a while to pick up mass uh, and we can see already um, up here, uh, totals Rivian and Rivian's definitely ahead. Um, and yep, looks like he's snagged that uh, reclaim there, which is a very good plan. Uh, that's going to help him a lot. Uh, Fergus not making use of that. Ah, yes, he's put in the the um, patrol order, which should give him. Uh, that reclaims soon enough. And yep, 1.2k worth of reclaim uh, easily um, 
500, 600, maybe even 700 there. So uh, got the sensor suite going down for Deadeye with four engineers assisting, and that's going to be very useful. That is a real revelation. Uh, watch what he can see. Difference here between that circle there, and suddenly you can see right out to here. It is incredible. You can see enemy scouts. You can see units coming towards him. Um, it's very, very useful. So just a, pit of a bit of a pity that it means you're not going to get one of those gun upgrades. Units back in the base here, waiting around. Um, no plays to get the side islands yet. Uh, we do have an air factory out uh, doing a bit of scouting. Um, has no other orders at this point. So, and yet there's a nice bit of raiding coming in, um, destroying those mixes. Uh, I su suspect that Rivian has uh, that mod that um, arranges your um, mass extractor upgrades um, automatically because they uh, always seem to be on pause um, although that one isn't so maybe he's just doing it by habit which is not a bad thing to do really. Um, I really want to let the let the keep those uh, aurora safely out uh, out in the um, ocean away from the troops there um, Got a bunch of factories going down, most of them idle at this point. He's probably waiting on um, getting some mass income. Um, uh, it should be pretty right. What's the uh, actual economy doing? Oh, he's stalling on power. Yep, that's way not enough power there. Um, is he doing any upgrades? Um, he hasn't even, even got that mix there. Um, he, they've started uh, throwing down a line of power generators. It's very close to the front line, and that's not an opportunity you really want to uh, give your op opponent there. Fergus going in for an upgrade. Um, what's that going to be? Uh, but pretty static at this stage. We'd, uh, we haven't seen any move for those side islands, although we've got a that, that hummingbird's parked there just to keep an eye on things. Um, Rivian pulling back. Um, doesn't have a lot of troops on this front line, and if... Uh, Twyblade can get together, um, he's got Tech 2 on the commander, if he can get together uh, a decent force here, it's going to be very easy to run over Rivian there. Um, I've got Stealth going down on the commander um, after the gun. So this is a definitely a gun com aiming to do a bit of damage, and it would be great if um, Deadeye didn't have the uh, the sensor suite. You can see it doesn't matter how stealthy that commander is, those little purple waves coming off him, um, that uh, commander is uh, still easily visible and uh, going to, even though he's going to do a pretty good job against that army there, um, Energy storage in amongst you, that's, that's just begging to be attacked and uh, blown to smithereens. Tech 2 for Deadeye going down there. Um, and looks like he's going to try for a run by. Now, can... Um, can Deadeye get that... T2 upgrade fast enough and can he hold off that commander for long enough that uh, he completes the T2 upgrade. If so, he can throw down point defense, uh, especially 2-2 point defense with that sensor suite 
is just going to um, really make it difficult for Fergus to dodge around. Very static on this side island, and finally we've got a drop that's gone down. Um, where is he parked the air transport? Looks like Deadeye is going to get that um, upgrade. He's sacrificing his a lot of units in here, um, and immediately we start T2 point defense. Uh, that's a very good choice there. Um, I don't know how he's managing on power. Uh, he's got just enough. Commander um, under attack. But uh, if we, if, um, yep, the Oblivions now can target that um, that ACU and Fergus backing off and so Deadeye backing off and making more PDs, but he's really still well in range of this gun com here. Um, very little going on down here. We're getting an upgrade for Rivian, um, but I really think that Fergus is going to uh, have a really good time here. He just does not have uh, the units. The Rivian does not have the units to keep him at bay, and Rivian just can't build point defense fast enough. Maybe he's got him at, at a distance now. Rivian, so Deadeye now starting to move back. Uh, I'd be really using the range of those uh, point, point defense. Um, try a try for another point defense there. That's pretty good. Um, I think uh, Deadeye, uh, sorry, Fergus being distracted by that. Um, those troops there really doesn't need to worry about them with that gun com. Um, I think Deadeye has done a good job of repelling um, Fergus. That's uh, going to keep those point defense are going to keep those that commander um, make him definitely think twice about getting in range. Um, but, of course, more units streaming in here. Uh, we're really hoping for... Uh, Tri Blades are really, really hoping for um, a defense there um, with um, Tech 2 PD. Can he lay down, them, lay down enough of them fast enough that they can t take out that? There's a couple of pillars mixed in. Uh, that's going to be very difficult to fight against. Um, it won't. They won't make much progress if they just stand around, though. Um, maybe Tri Blade can throw them down fast enough. Um, units coming in the side. Fergus being repelled here. Um, more Oblivion target turrets being thrown up back down here and I'd really aim to reuse that wreck. Uh, no, don't reclaim it. You get 50% off the, um, the build rate. Uh, use it to build up a really solid wall there and make it very difficult. Looks like Tie Blade's base is being... Uh, has been raided but it looks like mostly a big mass donation. Um, Tie Blade... Um, easily able to hold that um, that force at bay uh, getting in range of Rivian's tech 2 point defense there um, and we've got more lines of oblivions to try and target that gun com um, from Fergus um, how's his dodging skills that's going to be the big question and What's Fergus's plan? Um, really got only got one T2 unit in that mix there to try and repel what is obviously a well held position. And now Rivian going for the tack missile. Very interesting move. Uh, that's going to make it very difficult. Um, 
for this, especially if uh, Fireblade doesn't put down some um, tech to um, tactical defense. Um, looks like Fergus with full vet there, he's just charging around, but no problems in the world. Uh, he could even just sit there and uh, reclaim all of that lovely mass um, rather than spend it trying to whale away on um, factories. Uh, deny your op opponents the opportunity to use the resources. Um, Twyblade just about finished on that point defence. Very static on this side. And what is Twyblade seeing? Well, he hasn't got any radar, uh, any coverage of that, so he doesn't really knows his no knows that there's one triad there. Um, but apart from that, he's really kind of guessing. Um, so we're getting some more, some shielding, uh, and there comes the first attack missile. Um, and looks like we've got a set of flapjacks ready to go there as well. Um, has, it looks like Rivian has given an, a launch order, but what is it targeting? Um, looks like Fergus has now been pushed back from this position. Uh, he's got more T1 spam, but that's just not going to survive against uh, T2 point defense. Um, finally, um, Fergus gets a skyhook up to take some um, units over to that side island, and that means it's a pretty good sign for Rivian and Fergus here. Um, They've had another successful raid. Um, it's trying to damage these factories, but not getting very far. Really needs to focus da down on um, the factories that it wants to kill uh, and try to stay out of range of those. Yep, finally, we've got some tech missile defense up. Um, if I was going to use the the um, Tech missile defense of the commander. I would probably hold off on using those tech missile defense. As good as they are, um, it means that your uh, opponent is forewarned and has the opportunity to start building uh, enough zappers or T2 tech missile defense to uh, to take them out, and then you can target them with your own missiles. Um, because, of course, they have no shields and no missile defense. So, a bit of a stalemate. Dead Eye moving in, trying to... I think, yes, he's seen... Um, that point defense does... Yes, Rivian... So, Dead Eye moving out of the way here. Uh, Dead Eye... Um, Fergus, names, Fergus being repelled there, Dead Eye, you've got a perfect opportunity to finally, yep, got, get that up online, get a few more missile defense uh, in your base there and keep those things at bay because the uh, Aeon defense is good but it's not good enough and uh, it you can with a especially with that large number of um, defense and especially because they've got a, a stealth system the commander's uh, going to be able to see them um, but if they're attack. staying out of range then uh, that's still going to be a problem and uh, finally we're getting some T2 point defense wars going on here uh, still with a static, fairly static battle here. I like that Twyblade and Deadeye have been supporting each other with um, units. 
um, under attack. keeping their um, keeping their respective sides um, defended. Um, we've got pretty much a suicide run going in here, unless they can all take out. Yes, they take out that um, PD and. Uh, now, can he just keep a few of them far enough away from that commander that they survive? No, he can't. Okay. Oh. Still doing his best to defend the indefensible here. Um, it's at times like this when you really kind of start to need to ask yourself the question, what's the plan? Um, because if you stay in one place for long enough, you're just going to get hordes of missiles. Um, and those are just going to have a good time targeting anything that they can. Um, Aeon um, point defense is good, but it's just not that good. We've got another attack going on here, trying to come around the side. Uh, it's just a bit too much coverage and there's uh, too many units here. I wonder what happened to those? Uh, oh, I think they might have been donated across. Oh, I see no... I don't see many Aeon Rex over here, so I don't know what happened to um, Dead Eyes uh, units that were over here. Mongoose desperately trying to stay out of range of everything and failing. Here's another little trick for young players. You, if you build volcanoes, point defense, um, the Aeon point of um, attack missile defense close to each other, then they tend to go up at the same time. Uh, so now that's changing the scope. Um, that mean that's an RT, and that's going to have a. Uh, that's going to mean that uh, undefended, unshielded base there is pretty ripe for the picking. Now that's the right choice, I'd say. With the volcanoes, they'll all go up at the same time, and they'll, they'll attract this exactly the same set of units. Uh, so if you want to uh, stop a bunch of a bunch more missiles, you need to stagger them back um, or put them in different locations, uh, not all sort of beside each other, so that they um, they don't get triggered by the, the same single sort of burst of missiles. We've got a, a determined push here. Um, leave the um, the Vipers back to uh, rather than using them as a frontline unit. Um, but if the shield's down, then that's not a bad thing to do. Um, now we've got some um, Corsairs coming in. There's not a lot, not enough of them. Maybe, but maybe they are enough. Maybe they, there were four of them there that I saw. Maybe there were more before. Um, and Rivian says nice snipe, so I think that's, yeah, probably a good Corsair snipe there. So, now, Twyblade, the thousand player, gets a bit more scope to move. We've got uh, units moving in range here. We don't, we have a bit of a point defense battery here. Um, again, you can see that the, it's useful for those point defense as well to be spread out so they pick off because they'll they have a large single shot um, they'll be able to pretty well damage anything that they hit it's especially T1 um, but you don't want them all so you don't want them all aiming for exactly the same thing <coughs> Dead Eye making a move back um, he's still got a good coverage of point defense here, but that miasma is definitely going to go down. Um, <coughs> and uh, Fergus just having fun over here with 10.2k kill, mass killed. 
Um, he's just going to walk all over that. So, what does Twyblade have in store? Well, he's got some doing some damage behind the scenes, which I think Fergus hasn't really picked up on. And he's got a few units inbound here, hoping to keep them at bay. Uh, and a bit of a quirk of um, map geography is going to take some of those out. Um, the Rhino is just not going to survive. Um, Fergus definitely making inroads now. Uh, very, it's going to be very difficult for um, Dead Eye to keep him at bay. That forward base where all of the defences were has now been pretty much taken out. And uh, what with Fergus, uh, a, with a gun com easily able to chase down Dead Eye. Um, and uh, no troops in um, behind him. Um, could even just pull those rocket launchers away and um, keep things, other things at bay. We've got the gun <coughs> um, for Twyblade going down. That's going to mean they're pretty much an even match, um, and. Fergus is walking into a pretty a, a base with a reasonable amount of defense here. He's got plenty of health. He's got 15,000 health. He's, uh, he may have forgotten about those Corsairs, but uh, that health isn't going to last very long if um, he stays in range of the PD and... Uh, we still still get some Corsairs around. Um, and now Fergus down into the yellow um, with Twyblade um, on the attack with the units in and uh, Oblivion turrets now going up. Deadeye has managed to save himself and now the tables are turned. Fergus is just not going to escape that one. He's going to stay around to try and do a bit more damage, but he's taken out good game to Twyblade and Deadeye, um, who struggled a bit to get started there, um, didn't get that reclaim that they could have, um, but they used a pretty good... Um, they had a pretty good opportunity if... I probably would have, um, if I was Fergus there, I would have spent the time just walking all the way through um, Rivian, sorry, Dead Eye's base there just to absolutely annihilate it. There's really not much point um, pursuing that commander into another commander's base. Um, but hard to hard to judge sometimes you just never know um, so good game and we'll see how the next match in uh, this round goes see you soon